And because I set up my Notion system correctly, all I need to do now is select this one topic and automatically all the information across my workspace shows up. It's like magic. So why should you care? To make the most out of Notion, you usually organize your information in a database. And traditional methods of organizing stuff inside your database, like the normal default tags, are great as long as you only need one database. But as soon as you have several databases, you'll run into a problem. Let's take, for example, a situation where you have all your readings, all your inputs, right, uh, maybe all the things that you watch in one database, and then you have a second database where you store your outputs, for example, if you write some things. And now let's assume that you're interested in a topic of systems thinking. So in your readings database, you'll start tagging all the relevant things with systems thinking or systems design. And then in your output database, whenever you write about the topic, you'll also tag these things. But both of these tags are separated and there's no way to connect these things unless you want to individually link all the articles to all the outputs every single time when you write something about systems thinking. That is clearly not efficient. So what do you do? you use global tags. Global tags are a third database that you put in between your other two databases. And now, instead of having to connect all your readings to all relevant writings, you simply connect the readings to the master tag systems thinking, and then also your output to that master tag. Think of it like the hub and spoke model that airlines use to organize their flights. They don't connect all airports with every single one. Instead, they have certain hubs through which they route all their major flights, and that's exactly what a global tag is. Global tags are the glue that keep all your things together in a Notion workspace. And they are easy to implement, highly scalable, and super customizable. Are you sold on global tags? Well, here's how you can implement them. For this example, we have two databases, my writings and my second brain that contains all the things that I read. And the setup for global tags couldn't be easier. We simply create a new database. I'm going to call this global tags. And in it, by default, all we need is a main property and then connections. So in here, I'm going to enter now a few of the topics I'm interested in. So it might be uh, productivity, remote work, and maybe let's see uh, what else do we have in here. We have um, breaks of uh, mental health. Let's, yes, let's say mental health. And then I can remove this standard property here and delete it. And then I will instead create connections to both of these other databases. So I'm going to make this a bit smaller. And then we go in here and say, create a new relation. And this will connect to my writings. I wanna show it on both sides. So I'm going to just call this tags. I will add the relation and I have the writing relation. And then I will do the exact same thing again for the other database. So again, create a relation, this times to the, I think it's second, oh no, Media Vault. That's the name of it. The Media Vault, again, we show it on both sides and we call this here um, like readings. And here again, we will call it tags. And then we add that relation. Great. Now <laughs> we have the basic setup already done and we can start connecting things, right? So I can go through here and say, okay, how to create a personal productivity system that works for you. That is about productivity the benefits of journaling for personal productivity, that will be productivity. And then let's put, uh, take some productivity things here. Da, 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 da. Maybe the self-help books, that sounds like a good thing. I need to show the property here. So we'll go here and here and say, please show me tags. And then uh, this will also be about productivity. And then maybe this one will be about productivity. Okay, so now I have my basic connection set up and they show up here. That's already helpful, but it's only the first step because we don't usually wanna like navigate through these connections here. We want to make it inside a dashboard to make it a bit easier. So first I'm going to actually wrap the columns so we don't see so much here. And I'm going to go in here and I will create a new template. So this will be a new global tag and we can give it a default icon and then we can uh, change the uh, icons for individual ones if we want to. And all we need to do is now in the bottom here, create something called a self-referential filter. If you don't know self-referential filters, they are absolutely awesome. They allow you to filter for relations for these things whenever you create a new entry and automatically show only the things that are related to this page. Let me show you what I mean, then it's a bit easier. 
So we go in here and uh, I will first turn this into a full screen so we have a bit more space to work with and then also turn on the full width here. And then I will go in here, enter a few times so we have just some space to work with, create two columns and then I will uh, create two headings, uh, related writings and one for, uh, uh, for another H24 related readings. And now below these, I will create linked databases. So we type slash uh, create linked view of database. And I will pick the um, here for writings, my writings database. We can take the, the first view and then very important, we set up our filter. And we want to set up a filter where the tag contains and then we have here the gl new global tag. That's the template name, if you remember. And if we pick the template name, that means it updates to whatever actual name the page has whenever we apply this template to a different page. So for now, there's of course nothing because we haven't connected it to anything, but you'll see what I mean in a second. So let me quickly resize that. And we actually don't need to see the tag here because it will always be this one. And then we go into related readings. We also create another linked view database, this time the Media Vault. Here we can uh, go again for the articles. We can actually change the layout if we want to to a list to make it a bit more minimal. And then again, for the filter, go in and oops, uh, modify this and say also I want to make sure that tags contains the new global tag. Okay, so much so far it doesn't look uh, like anything. But if we now go back to our workspace page and we go and open the productivity one, and we apply this template, it will load in the preset and will automatically see in the body of the page all the things that we connected to it. And that's the core idea of global tags. Instead, of using the built-in tag feature inside one of these databases, right? The alternative method would be to go in here and say, okay, let's add uh, a select and let's call this uh, tags bad. Uh, and in here we add our productivity tag. That's nice. But if we now do the same on this database, there's no way of showing everything across our workspace that has to do with productivity. But if we use global tags that are in a separate database that we set up like this, we can now go in and see everything across our whole workspace that has to do with productivity. Because you're of course not limited to two databases. You could have 10, 15, 20 databases with different information, right? You could have clients, you could have uh, past projects, you could have like a whole range of things. And whenever like something has to do with a specific topic, you can simply link it to your global tag at another heading here and another linked database and have this one page that pulls everything together very easily. That was the first part to implement global tags. Now you can simply link everything to the tag and then go on the tag page and use smart referential filters to automatically show everything that's connected. But what about the magic that I showed you in the beginning? How can you use global tags to show something not just on the global tag page, but for example, if you are on your writing page, how can you show all connected readings? Well, that's what I'm going to show you next. So in this example, whenever I create something new in my writings database, I would want to see all the related um, articles on it. And at first glance, it is not so obvious how to do it, but it's actually fairly straightforward once you understand it. Let's take a quick look. Usually what we would do is we would have a link between our individual article and the uh, thing that we read, right? A specific relation. And if that was the case, then we could use the same method as here. We could just go in and create one of our templates and in the template have a setup for the self-referential filter. So say like, okay, whatever is connected with the other one. But if we go in here and now create a new template, so let's call this new writing, you'll see the problem in a second. So let's create a heading here, uh, related readings, create our database, let's say the media world, we want our articles. And now if I want to filter and I go in here and say, okay, so I want to filter all the uh, articles that are connected to uh, my reading, I realize, wait, there isn't actually a connection, right? I only have the tax connection. And for the tax connection, I have no option of saying, okay, please show me all the things that have the same tag as this tag, right? We don't have the option to access any of these other properties and say, okay, wherever these tags equal the tags that I have here. So we need to have a small additional step in our setup to make this work. What we need to do is we need to go into the database where we want to pull the information from, so into articles, and we need to create a new property. 
in here. So this is like the one that we want to work in, right? And this is the other one. That's always the this part where you need to think around the corner a little bit. And you need to go in here now and create a rollup. And this rollup will uh, be called related writings. And now in here, I go into the relation and I look for my tags relation. And then here, I don't want to show the name. I want to show uh, all the writings and I want to show the original. So now what I've created is a setup where in my second brain, I apply a specific tag and then Notion will go into the tag database and look up, okay, to which writing things has this tag been applied? And they show up here. And now that means I can go back in here, go into my new writing, edit it. And then uh, when I set my filter, I now have a filter that works because I can say for related writings, please show me any that contain and now I have again the template new writing. So I created another self-referential filter. And if I go out now and I open this one and I apply my template, it will automatically load in all the related readings to productivity. And if I were to apply another tag, right? So just to show you uh, the, how this works, right? So let's say we apply here the tag for this one for remote work. Actually, like let's apply the tag remote work in a second here. So let's go here and say, okay, this is remote work and this is remote work and now I go back in here and so far I only have the productivity tag and now I also oops sorry <laughs> now I also I want to add another tag now I also apply remote work in a second all my other articles that are linked to this also show up here if that's a bit confusing don't worry I have linked in the description a blog post that goes through these concepts in a bit more detail and I also have two templates for you. One, the academic writing template that I showed you in the very beginning, which has a very specific setup if you have to do a lot of research and then create yeah, academic pieces, or a much simpler one that looks closer to this one where you just have an input and an output database and you easily interlink them with global tags. And while we're talking about knowledge management in Notion, quick shout out to Sneepo.io who are very kindly sponsoring today's video. Sneepo is a Chrome extension for Notion that allows you to easily capture information from YouTube videos. You can take timestamp notes, you can quickly grab a screenshot from something, and you can even turn your video into AI flashcards. Let's say, for example, you found this really cool video on how to get uh, Notion charts and you want to take notes on it. So when you open it and you have the extension installed, you see this new button to take notes. So I can click on this and it will automatically load in my Notion uh, page. So I have to quickly resize these. So I put this to the left and this to the right. And then I see now I have in my Notion a new entry in my database for Notion charts. I have the YouTube link, I see who it's from, and I have all the timestamps automatically loaded for me. Now I'll make some space here. And one other thing that you'll see is on the side you have now all these uh, features from the extension. So for example, the video is playing here on the side, right? And if I want to remember something about this, I can just press Command Shift K and it creates a timestamp and I can now take some notes with that timestamp. Now, if I jump ahead a bit, right, uh, like let's go to the middle and I take another note, uh, another note, and I realize I want to go back actually to the first, but I can just click on it and it will automatically jump again to that section in the video. So really, really cool for actually facilitating note taking from video and not having to constantly like write down uh, the timestamps or forgetting where something was from. Super useful for that. Another really nice thing, if you have a video that shows some graphics, you can also take screenshots just again with a shortcut or by clicking here and will automatically add that to the workspace. Now, granted, this here might be not the most useful one, but again, if there are some graphics, uh, really cool. You can also use it to speed up or slow down the video. A lot of nice features, but these are the main things that you can do here uh, right from your Notion workspace. Also, one last thing, if you need to study something, you can now use a new feature for AI flashcard generation where you just click on the extension and then you ask it to generate AI flashcards and we'll go through the video uh, on the transcript and then generate automatically the flashcards for you. So you see what are two types of people described in the text, <laughs> show the answer, those who wait for features they need uh, to be released and those that build them themselves. Great answer for space repetition. You can also export them to Anki. So overall, just a really, really cool extension if you need more note-taking abilities for YouTube, Udemy, and other video platform tools. And of course, you can use the Sneepo database together with Global Tags to easily integrate it into the rest of your workspace. Now you know how to use Global Tags to seriously upgrade the efficiency and tidiness of your Notion workspace, which is a great start, but 
global tags are only as powerful as the general notion setup in which you use them. Now, how about a super simplistic yet really, really powerful notion setup that 95% of people should use? That's exactly what I'm going to show you in the next video. A step-by-step -step walkthrough of how to build the perfect base notion setup in less than 30 minutes. Just click here and I'll see you in a few seconds.